what we're going to do in this video is talk about the idea of a sampling distribution. Now, just to make things a little bit concrete, let's imagine that we have a population of some kind. Let's say it's a bunch of balls, each of them have a number written on it. For that population, we could calculate parameters. So a parameter you could view as a truth about that population. We've covered this in other videos. So for example, you could have the population mean, the mean of the numbers written on top of that ball. You could have the population standard deviation. You could have the proportion of balls that are even, whatever. These are all population parameters. Now we know from many other videos that you might not know the population parameter or it might not even be easy to find and so the way that we try to estimate a population parameter is by taking a sample. So this right over here is a sample of size n. Sample of size n. And then we can calculate a statistic from that sample, based on that sample, maybe you know, we picked n balls from there. And so from that we can calculate a statistic that is used to estimate this parameter. But we know that this is a random sample right over here. So every time we take a sample, the statistic that we calculate for that sample is not necessarily going to be the same as the population parameter. In fact, if we were to take a random sample of size n again, and then we were to calculate the statistic again, we could very well get a different value. So these are all going to be estimates of this parameter. And so an interesting question is, is what is the distribution of the values that I could get for these statistics? What is the frequency which which I could get different values for the statistic that is trying to estimate this parameter? And that distribution is what a sampling distribution is. So let's make this even a little bit more concrete. Let's imagine where our population, I'm gonna make this a very simple example. Let's say our population has three balls in it. One, two, three, and they're numbered one, two, and three. And it's very easy to calculate, let's say the parameter that we care about right over here is the population mean, and that of course is going to be one plus two plus three, all of that over three, which is six divided by three, which is two. So that is our population parameter. But let's say that we wanted to take samples, let's say samples of two balls at a time, and every time we take a ball, we'll replace it. So each ball we take, it is an independent pick. And we're gonna use those samples of two balls at a time in order to estimate the population mean. So for example, this could be our first sample of size two. And let's say in that first sample, I pick a one, and let's say I pick a two. Well then I can calculate the sample statistic here. In this case it would be the sample mean, which is used to estimate the population mean. And in this, for this sample of two, it's going to be 1.5. Then I can do it again. And let's say I get a one and I get a three. Well now, when I calculate the sample mean, the, the average of one and three, or the mean of one and three, is going to be equal to two. Let's think about all of the different scenarios of samples we can get and what the associated sample means are going to be, and then we can get, see the frequency of getting those sample means. And so let me draw a little bit of a table here. So make a table right over here. And let's see, these are the numbers that we pick. And remember, when we pick one ball, we'll record that number, then we'll put it back in, and then we'll pick another ball. So these are going to be independent events, and it's going to be with replacement. And so, let's say we, we could pick a one and then a one, we could pick a one, then a two, a one and a three, we could pick a two and then a one, we could pick a two and a two, a two and a three, we could pick a three and a one, a three and a two, or a three and a three. There's three possible balls for the first pick and three possible balls for the second because we're doing it with replacement. And so what is the sample mean in each of these for all of these combinations? So for this one, the sample mean is one. Here it is 1.5. Here it is two. Here it is 1.5. Here it is two. Here it is 2.5. Here it is two. Here it is 2.5. And then here it is three. And so we can now plot the frequencies of these possible sample means that we can get. And that plot will be a sampling distribution of the sample means. So let's do that. So let me make a little 
chart right over here, a little graph right over here. So these are the possible, possible sample means. We can get a one, we could get a 1.5, we could get a two, we could get a 2.5, or we can get a three. And now let's see the frequency of it. And I will put that over here. And so let's see, how many ones out of our nine possibilities we have, how many were one? Well, only one of the sample means was one. And so the relative frequency, if we just said the number, we could, put, we could make this line go up one, or we could just say, hey, this is going to be one out of the nine possibilities. And so let me just make that, I'll call this right over here. This is one ninth. Now what about 1.5? Well, let's see, there's one, two of these possibilities out of nine. So 1.5, it would look like this. This right over here is two over nine. And now what about two? Well, we can see there's one, two, three. So three out of the nine possibilities, we got a two. So we could say this is two, or we could say this is three ninths, which is the same thing, of course, as one third. So this right over here is three over nine. And then what about 2.5? Well, there's two 2.5s, so two out of the nine times. Another way you could interpret this is you have a, when you take a random sample with replacement of two balls, you have a two ninths chance of having a sample mean of 2.5. And then last but not least, right over here, there's one scenario out of the nine where you get two three, so one ninth. And so this right over here, this is the sampling distribution, sampling distribution for the sample, sample mean for, for n equals two, or for sample size, sample size of two.